All right, so I'm back and yes, it's dark out like always. So today is Sunday and I have a launch tomorrow at seven. So I have been preparing for it obviously and I decided that I was gonna do this launch on Saturday after cutting out a bunch of stuff. So it's gonna, in this launch, there's gonna be cat toys, dog toys, hamster rabbit and guinea pig toys dog treats and hamster treats and it's titled the valentine's day launch which means that i'm going to have valentine's day stuff but i am also going to have some stuff that's just going to be like there all the time that i need to bring back so i figured i'd give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes because i haven't recorded on youtube in a very long time since i tried actually i know one i haven't recorded since i tried to do vlogmas which i think i only got to day seven eight I don't remember it's my last video I posted but I got to whatever day that was and then uh, the day after that I recorded something I think I don't even know if I got to record but it just got like so busy I couldn't I couldn't handle it I ended up having like 26 orders at a time and I just I couldn't I couldn't record and keep up with Instagram so basically I cut myself off of all social media which obviously wasn't the best but I did that just so I could get all the orders out on time. And now it is January something. 16th. And I'm back now. So it's taken me like well over a month. And yeah. So I'm figuring out a quick lunch. I did go. I did do an Instagram live today. For an hour. There were not many people joined. But I also didn't give much notice. Obviously because that's me. And I also started 15 minutes late. But I did do a live. It's still up. I kept it up because some people requested for me to keep it up so they could watch it later. And what did I do? I explained all the new things and I did a bunch of other stuff. But I'll tell you guys real quick everything that I have planned to schedule tomorrow or to go out tomorrow. So I have dog toys made from spare fabric. And then what I, that's what I just filmed clips of me cutting was those and they can also be customized so you can put your dog's name on them because i got a cricket so if you want you can put your dog's name on them or like woof or something i think woof might be my example one or i'm gonna give one to my dog so here are all the patterns so i only have one of this pink and green one i might not even bother putting it up i might make this one as one for my dog but so i have one of these so we have this one we have blue flowers which i'll have three of i'll have three of the constellations three of the aliens which this one's really cute that one might be my favorite or no actually this one's my favorite and then i'll have four elephants so these are all of the patterns for the dog toys so like i said they can be customized and put your pet's name on them or words on them and inside them they will be stuffed and then they'll also have a squeaker and then i do need to sew all these and again so it's sunday and it's 7 12 and so basically in 24 hours my new range is going to be launched and i haven't been promoting it that much so i don't expect it to do that well on launch day but that's fine because that's my fault for not for deciding last minute to do lunch I'm also doing cat toys, like I said, and each cat toy is stuffed. And then inside it, I'm putting this, which is a mix of catnip and silver vine. So basically, catnip only works on about, like only 60%, I did my research. So only about 60% of cats react to catnip and 90% of cats react to silver vine. Apparently silver vine makes them for react four times as much as they would to catnip on most cats so this one's a mix of both so if the cat doesn't react to one but reacts to the other it has a mix of both i did test i did make a test one and i gave it to my grandmother's cat today i'll insert some clips <laughs>
include that. It was a hit. He liked it. It made him go crazy and then p pass out. So he was going crazy for like half hour and then I think he passed out and then he came back for another 20 minutes and played and then passed out again. And then he was playing another few minutes before I left. So he really liked it. And I don't think, I don't know if he reacts to catnip. I forget. He might. I don't know. But so that's what these are. So they're little fish. And I use my spare fleece. So these ones are made with fleece. So I have, let's see, how many different designs do I have? So I have the donut one. I have the whale one. The flamingo. I don't know how far I can go. Flamingo, here, I'll do that so I can fit more. Okay, flamingo. I have a moose one. This is the only moose one I have. I have this one which is like a sleep one and then I have this like dark teal how far can I go oh gotta move over dark teal and then I have this light blue I need to sew the tops and fill these ones with the catnip silver vine mix and then I also have so this is my stack of cut I'm not gonna finish all of them, but I just wanted to get at least one of each kind done so I can get up on my website. So then ones that I don't have already sewn. So I have this pink one, this polka dot one, which might be my favorite just because it's a small design. So then like these ones, you can't really tell what they are. They still all function the same just for like look purposes. I think the polka dot one's my favorite. And then this one I also really, really like too. This might be another one of my favorites. It's this like birch forest. Ooh, birch forest one. So you can see all the trees. I think that one looks so cool. The lighting sucks, so I'm sorry about that. Is that all of the new ones? Yep, so that's all the new ones I've pre-cut. And then there's some I haven't even cut yet. Yeah, I'm behind. So that's this like tan gray color. And then I also have, oh, I also have a dark gray too. That was one of the ones, my, the gray one I had already pre-made, I gave to my grandmother's cat. So there's just dark gray, so you can see the difference. One of them's like a tan brownish gray and one of them's a dark gray. And then you have yellow, this flower pattern, the bees, which is so cute. The monkeys, which is cute, and the ladybugs, which are also cute, and this cream color, which I really like because I just like the look of like cream white. And then lastly, the box. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 different ones that you can choose from. So there's a big range. And as you saw in the video, it does work. So I'm really glad it does. I, if my grandmother's cat didn't react to it, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have sold them because if he didn't like it, then why was I gonna sell it? You know what I mean? So that's those. And then I still have rope dog toys because I had a bunch of like thin strands of fleece left over. So I went and I made those. But these, I only have one of each. So there are two different thicknesses. So there's like this really thin one and then the thicker one. So we have the birch forest one. The lighting is awful. I'm sorry. I need to get better lights. Or like a white light to bring over here um this rainbow floral one the dandy donut one and the pink polka dot one which this one would be more valentine's day for the valentine's collection but yeah so there's well technically there's like they're all a different thickness i guess like that would be the order of thickness but that isn't on purpose these two were the same size and then these two are the same size but yes yeah, so these are gonna go up there's only four of them but I just figured I might as well use up the extra fleece I have. Yeah, but then I also need to bake some 
heart dog treats with sprinkles and some paw print dog treats and some paw print hamster treats. Yes, I am bringing the paw print treats back, but instead of bringing the original ones back, I'm gonna bring out Valentine's Day ones. So they're gonna be limited edition for Valentine's Day. So they're gonna be strawberry flavored treats with the decorations on them. Uh, they're gonna be a little bit different. So the old version of my paw print treats were that they were the, the cookie part. And then they had a layer of like white yogurt drop frosting frosting on it and then the paw dots made out of carob chips but for some reason when i so they worked the first few times then the second couple of times they wouldn't work like the yogurt chips weren't melting and i used the same exact brand of yogurt chips and they hadn't changed their recipe so i didn't know what i was doing wrong i literally tried everything and i couldn't get them to work so from now on, my paw print treats, instead of having three layers, they're only going to have two. So they're going to have the cookie and then just the paw print decorations, which I don't think you guys are going to care anyways because you're just feeding them to your hamsters and they look the exact same. They're just missing that frosting layer, but you can't, you couldn't even really see it anyways. Whew, so that was my rant. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to make those. And then, oh, the Dandy Donut Fleece. I'm mad because they're sold out of it. They discontinued it. Same with the whale one. I don't even have, I sold my last whale one. But the Dandy Donut and the whale one is out of stock. And I'm really mad because I would have bought a lot more if I knew it was going to be out of stock because they were cute. And the donut one, everybody's asking where it is. So, sorry, but I can't get it back because they're out of it. They have different donut ones, but they're not as cute. Actually, there's a donut and a narwhal one. I'm gonna have to get a couple yards of that one. But wait till after this launch, because this launch is pretty big. And then I also have my Valentine's Day sim sacks. Which, let me get those. But these ones are only gonna be the sim sack. And this pattern is only gonna be available in small large. Yes, I need to sew these and take pictures of everything before tomorrow. I got like 24 hours, don't you worry. Um, so I have the polka dot one with the pink lining. So that's a Valentine's Day pattern. They're going to be available until they sell out. And I only have two smalls and two larges in this pattern. So if you want it, get your hands on it. Nah. This is the second pattern. So it's this heart, these hearts. And then this like medium pink inside. And I'm not sure how much I'll get out of this, but we'll see. And then I'm also going to be sewing a mega snuggle tunnel to see what how people think of them. They're the ones that I have in my guinea pigs cage. I don't know. I have a picture. I'll pop up a picture. But they're the, like my mega snuggle tunnels instead of just like the tunnels that are stay like formed and stuff. These ones are for like snuggling them. So they're like, I'm going to call them mega snuggle tunnels. But I have one of those. That everything? Oh, I have another dog rope toy. This one I have two different, or I have two of them. This is the only one of the rope toys that I'll have two of. So that's these ones. This was made of the whale fleece because I had strips of them left. And these ones are going to be longer, like twice as long as those ones. So I'm going to have two of those. And that's it so far. So I'll have nine things. I forgot about this. I need to cut dog bones out of this fleece too. I mean fabric. But yeah, I'm very excited for this launch out. It's dog and cat. Oh, I forgot. I knew I was missing something. So also in the Valentine's Day launch are gonna be, guess what came back in stock? The big beads. Now the big beads means the ball shoes are going to be back. So everybody's been asking me when I'm going to get the ball shoes back. And I said, when the big beads come back in stock. The big beads are back in stock. So that means ball shoes are going to come back. So I have them in pink, blue, green, yellow, and purple. And I'm also going to add a red for Valentine's Day. And maybe like a lavender color. And I'm also just going to have classic shoes in the smaller size. Probably won't do classic shoes in the larger size. Classic shoes will probably stay in the smaller size. And then I'll leave the bigger ones for the ball shoe toys. 
Hmm. Is that everything? Oh, and then a rabbit and guinea pig treats. I'm also going to be launching tomorrow, too. So I have quite a few things. I'm going to start promoting that more, obviously, for the night before. So, again, I'm probably not going to do it too well. I think that's everything for now. I've been chatting for a while. Um. Yeah. So that's everything right now. I do need to go and bake, and I need to paint, and I need to sew, and I need to cut. Oh, I have so much need. It is 727. So, I've come to the decision that I'm just going to work on sewing. And, well, cutting and then sewing. So, I already have all of these cut out. And I'm going to try to sew at least one of each and stuff them and sew them completely shut so I can take pictures. So, yeah, so for these ones, the cat ones, I don't have that one, I don't have that one, that one, I don't have that one. And then I also need to trace a couple more of the cat ones. And I'm going to cut out all the dog ones. Yeah, so I'm going to cut out the dog ones first. My plan is cut out the dog bones, trace the patterns that I don't have yet of the fish, at least one of each, and then cut them out, and then work on sewing. And time check, it is 8.32. Sorry about that, that was quick intermission for rabbit nail trimming. Now back to dog toy cutting. I finished cutting the dog bones, so those are, all of them are cut and that's all I'm gonna have for the stock, so I'm only gonna have three of the elephants, three of the aliens, and then one of these, one of the flower ones, there's only one, and then this one, I didn't cut the rest, I don't remember why, the blue flowers, but the constellation one, it's like really thin, so I'm only going to do one, and then I'm going to have to test it to see if it like rips easy and stuff before I put it up on my website, so that's that. And then I ended up finishing tracing from all of my other fabrics, one of each pattern. So I had one of each to display. And there are way more than I thought there were going to be. So I had to trace and cut all of these. So yeah, now I have to sew 12 fish. I'm going to sew 12 fish and 5 of the dog bones. And the time now is 10.01. I might sew the dog bones first. So now I need to set these up, so like this. So I need to put one down like this and make sure the good sides are facing each other. Like that. And I... I'm gonna pin it just so it stays. I'm just gonna put one here. And then now it's ready to sew. So I need to do that to all the dog bones and then the same thing with the fish so I make sure the two good sides are facing each other. <laughs>
right, so I went ahead and pinned all of the dog bones and all of the fish and faced them in the right direction. So now I'm gonna start sewing. It is 10.20. So that took me 20 minutes. <laughs> check how much footage I have. Oh, I also am including footage before I end. I did end up packing a few orders and I but I ended up packing a few orders last night. So I'll insert the footage of that here. <laughs> So that's going to be the end of this vlog. This is the Valentine's Day launch prep part one. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for part two. Well, tomorrow for vlogging. Like my vlog again tomorrow. But I don't know when you guys are going to see this. Anyways, see you guys later.